Hi, it's Georgia Lane from ANZ Wealth with Jessica Gwynn from Client Kiosk and today we're going to be talking about podcasts. Um, I hope you have heard of them. I guess it's it's the next thing in my view from videoing. So we've all heard about videoing and using videos as part of our business. But the great thing about podcasts is that they can take that video to the next level and enable people to listen to them whenever they want. Now an expert, somebody who's done many podcasts is Jess. So Jess, tell us about how we can and why we should use podcasts. As you say, Georgia, podcasts can be taken anywhere pretty much. I know I listen to them constantly while I'm driving um, or on public transport. So having those, having the ability to listen to something more often than you do to watch something makes podcasts, as you say, the next big thing in digital marketing. Okay. And it's actually quite easy. So you say it's easy. <laughs> how do we do it? We know how to video. Is it is it similar to videoing or yeah, it's really quite similar. It's it's inexpensive. It's actually more or less expensive, I should say, than videoing because you don't need to have a camera. Um, the only things you really need to have is a, a good microphone, which really you can buy them from about fifty dollars. Um, and then there's a, a really easy um, system called Blueberry, which will pop in the show notes that you log into or plug in, sorry, to your WordPress website which will update upload everything to iTunes for you okay great and then how do people find you or find your podcast because um, because they they're all pretty much held in iTunes it's really easy to find you so you get a really focused group of people who are interested in what you have to say because they can be really specific about what they're searching for that said then you get a group of people listening to you who become very committed to you and interested in what you have to say okay and from a frequency perspective, how often do you think you should do a podcast? The beauty of it is you can choose. You can choose how long you want it to go for, how often you want it to go for, um, and what it is that you want to talk about. But the really key message is to be consistent. So once you decide what it is, um, podcasts can range from anything through a couple of minutes right up to about an hour with uh, someone who might interview someone constantly. Um, but if you've chosen five minutes or you've chosen 30 minutes, stick with it. And if you've chosen to do it once a week, stick with once a week and put it out on the same day because people, I guess like TV, know when it is, when it's coming and they get really disappointed if it's not there. Mm, okay. So I guess going back to, you know, some of our pre previous videos, for example, uh, the video that we did on how to be an expert, doing a podcast is probably a really good extension and we, I think we mentioned we talked about podcasts in that, that video. Yeah, we did. And the funny thing about it is not only do you become an expert, you become a bit of a celebrity as well. People get to hear your voice which they become really connected with and it's a really personal connection so they feel like they're getting to know you and a lot of the times in podcasts you talk a little bit about yourself as well so they do become more connected to you than they would perhaps in a video where they're just looking at it which doesn't really have any type of two-way connection um, or writing on, on a piece of paper. Mm, okay I guess we've also talked about in our other videos is how to outsource so of course if I didn't have the expertise of how to produce a podcast we could always outsource couldn't we? Always yeah it's super easy as long as you've done the recording yourself you can always have a virtual assistant who might then be able to do the rest of it for you right through to uploading it into iTunes. Mm, okay. All right, so podcast, something new but um, could be very powerful. Have you got any final tips for everybody? Be yourself. So it doesn't matter what it is that you're talking about. Don't feel like you need to have a, you know, a, a news front or a news persona. Just be yourself. Mm, okay. Thanks, Jess. My pleasure.